In what follows, I want you and me to derive this mathematically. And that is challenging. If you don't like calculus, you can skip over it. So feel free to skip. If you skip, no one's ever going to know. And I promise you, the derivation is not essential for using this formula over here. You can use it entirely without understanding why it's correct. But if you stick with me, you get a sense of how statistics really works as a scientific discipline. So it's a glimpse into the beauty of more advanced statistics. So last chance, you're going to skip. Hey, thanks for staying on. So here's my quiz, and it looks complicated, but let me explain it to you. I've actually derived for you the desired equation down here, which is the maximum likelihood estimator, all the way from the definition of the probability of the data. You might remember data is comprised of xi's, where each xi is 1 for heads and 0 for tails. And of course, p is the desired probability of heads. I left open the derivation, however, nine steps, by right? these nine bars that will turn into boxes very soon. And what you have to do is you have to pick from the 13 choices over here the ones that fit best. There's always a unique answer, and you can only use each of the things on the right side once. So there'll be four things left, 13 minus 9, that you've never used. So for example, if you believe that the right answer over here is Pn, then you're going to type 6 into the box over here, and Pn is now used up. You can't write 6 anywhere else. So good luck with this. Um, the way the proof works is by first taking the logarithm of this expression over here, this ends up over here. Then we set the first derivative to zero, so you have to compute the first derivative and plug it in here. And then you have to transform it all the way until you achieve the final result. Good luck.